What is going on guys and a big welcome back to Cheeky Crypto Uncensored. Of course, as always, I am JB and today we're going to talk Cardano's era is a big bullish move on the horizons. Let's get straight on into this one. We'll start over here and look at that weekly chart. Now for a while, I have been looking at that move towards 74.41 up towards 86.08 cents. Is this truly still a possibility? Well, first of all, we will look at the stochastic positioning on this weekly time frame. We can see that the stochastic is resetting ever so quickly. Currently, the stochastic is sitting around about 30%. We do have the potential for this one to slip some more. But in my opinion, the move to the downside, 34.16%, for an almost full retracement of that weekly stochastic tells us that we are on the cusp of, you know, a continued move to the upside, in my opinion, for ERA on a more macro time frame. What we can see crucially is finding support on this weekly 200 EMA at 44.81 cents. And in my opinion, we are looking for that move to the upside to happen. And of course, as we do drop it down the time frames, we can take note of their stochastic positioning. We can see the daily, the eight hour, the four hour have now reached the overbought territory. But what we have seen happen ultimately is a 20% push to the upside for Cardano Ada's price action. So in my opinion, we are just starting that push to the upside. Yes, there is still that possibility of a retracement before it does happen. Nothing is a guarantee, of course. But that move to the upside, in my opinion, is likely. I have got one crucial reason why I do think that may happen. First of all, guys, before I forget, let's run the intro. A very welcome back to you all, guys. Thank you for coming back to Cheeky Crypto and Centred, as always. Before we get into it, guys, can you do me a massive favor? Like, subscribe, tap on the bell, all the usual good stuff. We've seen a massive influx of subscribers recently. It really helps this channel out. It helps us grow. It helps YouTube feed the algorithm. So if you guys have not already yet subscribed, please do so. It does help us out a great deal. But enough plugging, we're here to talk about Cardano's era and let's kick it off on the one hour time frame. BitGet, of course, will be the data source. Now, the most recent video I did do for Cardano's era, we were targeting this move to the upside in the C wave, targeting 49.5 cent upwards of 50.5 cents. And of course, we have seen the price come up and hit that area, reaching 50 cents exactly. Yes, we had that correction to the downside, testing out the 50 EMA, the 50 SMA, and the 200 EMA. Then we have had this big explosive move to the upside and I do not think that move is yet complete. Structure wise it does appear that we do have a nice impulsive movement going on. There may still be a correction to come in this fourth wave but that gain that fourth wave within itself may actually be an internal count here. Let's just quickly draw this one out. We are on a lower time frame so this one's going to be quite hard to put into place but it does look like we may actually be looking for more of a an impulsive move internally here. Let's drop it down the time frames and take a look at this one. So we'll come down here onto the five minute time frame. We can see that move is starting off over here. Now we may have a very small diagonal going on here giving us the idea of a wave one, two, all of this here just being a wave three, wave four and wave five coming on up, a nice explosive move. So in fact, the original count we did have for the structure does appear to be the correct one. This one here will look like a wave one, a wave two, all of this here being a wave three, expecting a retrace in a wave four. This would align with the four hour stochastic also, and another push to the upside in a fifth wave. Now let's draw on some areas of target and typical retracements for this move. We will of course take the high of the wave three, the low of the wave two, and we can draw up where we expect the price to really, you know, come on down to. So the typical retracement for the wave four will be here between 51.57 and 50.95. Now, of course, the price does not have to come down to there. We could look for that minimum requirement, the 0 0.236 Fib level here at 52.36 cents. This would be the minimum requirement for that move to the downside. Now, from here, where would we expect to go? Well, we do see, ultimately, we have a fair value gap. Now, what we are seeing time and time again, guys, is the price coming on down and testing out the mid-bands of these fair value gaps, not completely filling them out. So a potential move down, testing out the mid area of this fair value gap, I am not opposed to this. Around about 51.4 cents, that would be an ideal situation. 
should we find you know a bit of support in this area we could then look for that push to the upside in the fifth wave so for the purpose of today's video let's just take that mid band of the fair value gap and we'll target out this move in the fifth wave here now this would look like we would target up towards 54.19 and 55.07 this of course would be the typical target area for that fifth wave movement now that fifth wave move within itself it does look like we have a bigger move going on here we of course have had this a b and c to the upside and in my opinion we are just setting off this as a bigger a b and c structure let's take the high of the original move we did have planned out and the low and we'll bring over to that drop we had to the downside and what we can see is a nice bit of coercion here we would see the target area for this bigger c wave let's make it yellow so it's a bit easier to understand this move we can see it a bit clearer on the charts the fifth wave target falls right within the c wave target area for this bigger structure between 54.07 and 55.55 so in my opinion these lower time frames yes we could look for that correction but ultimately looking for a continuation to the upside smart money concept themselves are still showing a weak high on the charts we are trading higher than the 50 ema the 50 sma the 200 ema equilibrium we have bullish change of character also so in my opinion ada is bullish short term perhaps a bit bearish but ultimately looking for a continuation now from here we could be looking for a retracement we most definitely will be looking for a retracement we do see the change of character when we do see these changes of character we tend to see the retracement into the areas of higher volume which would most likely bring us back down towards that 49 cent level we will target that one out as and when the the structures you know kind of complete here on the lower time frames so when we do you know come up to the weekly chart here we started the video of talking about 74 to 86 cent is this still a possibility and in my opinion it very much is still a possibility now i've aired my thoughts many times now looking at that 786 fibonacci level at 73.29 cents i will think we will see a uh, ultimately an immense amount of resistance at this level of course we will see previous resistance here at the 702 we did see the wave 3 pretty much terminate in this area then of course when we do see the price push back up to 68 cent that previous high of the wave 3 we will of course see even more resistance and that is the minimum requirement for this push to the upside in my opinion targeting move up towards 73.29 cents yes may sound absolutely bonkers considering stochastic positionings considering you know what's really going on in the real world just now we cannot shy away from the likes of Evergrande what's going on over in you know the middle east and such guys it's, yes the real world's not in a great place but when we look at the charts i do still think we have the potential for those re relief rallies for altcoins now why may we say that i covered this on one of the bitcoin videos um, you know over on the main channel throughout last week you know talking about the potential for bitcoin's dominance to drop and money fiat to flow into altcoins and i think this is still possible now an example of this will bring you over to a split chart here the top chart being bitcoin's dominance on the daily time frame and the lower chart here being the crypto total market cap excluding bitcoin excluding ethereum and excluding stable coins now what we can see here is a, a period from around about the 6th of december to the 14th of january we see bitcoin's dominance drop around about 8.03 percent and in this time frame but we've seen the total three market cap rising 30.28 percent now this shows a flow of money into altcoins opposed to bitcoin money coming out of bitcoin so bitcoin's dominance dropping money going into altcoins so the total market cap three rising and this in my opinion is the most likely play for what's going to happen with the altcoin market i think we're going to see a push to the upside perhaps that final push to the upside for many altcoins a lot of these charts are structured in this way we have era v chain we can see it with the likes of solana with Chainlink. the list does go on guys so yes in my opinion a push to the upside is highly likely for many altcoins cardano's ada here not any exception i do think we will see that 73 cent yes we are sitting at 53 cents so a 20 a 20 cent push to the upside sounds ludicrous many people will shrug it off a 37 percent push to the upside time will tell guys i will most certainly be back here to cover all of the action for era and why not check out some more content coming from the channel by checking out this video right here